Have you seen the actual reality of a monstrous crime? Or real women? <laughs> Now some of you may have noticed that the old Xbox has been replaced by this, a newer Xbox. But what's so different about it? Do you really need it? Is it worth upgrading? Alright, show of hands, who here thinks he's going to say no without any solid reason? Okay. Now show of hands, who here knows he's going to say no without any solid reason? Yeah, I kind of figured. Well, the new Xbox 360s are out. And the first thing that anyone would notice is that this console is now black. Can anybody make a more obvious statement? Wait, really? How do you figure? Wow, that's pretty damn obvious. What the hell is an Elite? And it stands shorter and thinner than the original. Also, there are two major upgrades they made to this machine. First of all, it runs a lot quieter than the original. Secondly, it's now equipped with a kinetic accessory input. And thirdly, it now has Wi-Fi capabilities. That's right, kids. Two is the new three. All hail Darth Boris, the genius. Or something like that. Now, the main reason I stopped playing my Xbox was because it doesn't have Wi-Fi, whereas the PlayStation 3 does so I would just end up playing that. Of course, even with this feature, I still feel a little gypped, because you still have to pay an extra fee just to play multiplayer games online by buying an Xbox Live Gold subscription. <laughs> How stupid. Now you're comparing the 360 to the PS3 when you're supposed to be comparing the old 360 to the new one. Now let's say you want to transfer your information from the old Xbox to the new one. Should be pretty simple, right? Just take your hard drive off the old Xbox and plug it into your... Okay, there's no input for that. Well, let's just transfer the memory card over to, uh... What the hell? Oh, great. So even a simple thing like data transfer becomes a pain in the ass. No, it doesn't. All you have to do is buy a data transfer cable, hook it into your 360, and, well, transfer your data over. Jeez, Chris, do you bitch about everything? In fact, in order to get the old information over to the new Xbox, you'll be needing another cable that costs an extra $20 at the store. What a bunch of BS. I rest my case. Now the question remains, is it really necessary to upgrade to the new Xbox 360? Well, my answer would be a resounding no. Yeah, we didn't even need to have our eyes open to see that coming. Unless you're either A, looking to play games with a kinetic accessory, or B, are in dire need of a Wi-Fi console, you'd be really wasting a lot of money on this machine. But you only stated, like, Four things about the new 360. Hell, there is so much that you didn't go over. For example, the power and disc tray buttons are touch sensitive. There are three USB ports in the back of the console. And there's one bundle that comes with a kinetic accessory. And another that comes with a 250 gigabyte hard drive. And that's not all of them either. But with this much stuff, don't you think it's at least worth taking a look at? Even if you don't have a 360? Yeah, but that didn't come to mind, did it, Mr. Almighty Genius? Now before I end this video, let me leave you with one final thought. With the old Xbox 360, inside was packaged a card that would give you a one-month free subscription to the Gold membership. With the new Xbox, you get absolutely nothing. So, take that for what it's worth. Now honestly, I can't remember if my console came with a Gold membership trial, but Based off of the comments for that video that said it did, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that what this douche just said is complete bullshit. Falling onto spikes, running into spikes, being stabbed by spikes, eaten by spikes, burned by spikes, falling into this I screw up. Okay, first of all, that is not the music that you hear when you're in the main menu. Second, that is not the sound you hear when you change your selection. Third, that is not the sound you hear when you get an error message. Fourth, that is not what the error message text box looks like. And finally, now you're comparing the 360 to the PS3 when you're supposed to be comparing the old 360 to the new one. Get back 
on the fucking road. Otherwise, you're just going to end up talking about ceiling fans or something.